I, 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 I've been told I have to officially call the meeting. Yes, you do. And we have a quorum, and I've printed out the agenda. And I have my notebook. <laughs> okay. I'm Amy, by the way. I'm Jess. Jess? Jess nice is a UMass you. student. Oh, okay. Now, are you um, interning with the Hadley, or are you studying, or? I'm still interning with the Land Conservancy of New Jersey, so I'm still going to work on their open space and recreation plans until, I guess, I graduate. But I'm getting my master's in geography and racial planning. I see, okay. Because, uh, anyway, don't go away. I'd love to talk to you. She's required to go to, she said, four, four public oh, meetings yes. as part of her Well, you picked a good one. We're the best Canadian in town. <laughs> Not just because we only meet four times a year. <laughs> All right, so this is under other topics and issues that were known at the time of this writing. Take it away. Take it away. Yeah. So everybody knows, except for Edwin, that an email was sent around today from Stuart Saginor suggesting that I am in conflict of interest being on this committee and being town moderator. So that being said, I, I mean, I, I emailed Andy back and said, I think I better resign. Not until after this meeting, because, because then we would have quorum. Yeah. <laughs> Good plan. Okay. So anyhow, because it's, it's one of those things where if it looks like a conflict to anybody out in the audience and they bring up the issue, it could cause all kinds of problems. Personally, I can deal with it, but I'm more concerned with the actions of the committee, not only present but past, if somebody says, hey, you're up there and you're moderating these questions that come from the CPA, and granted, none of it has been contentious. I don't believe that there could be a problem, but you never know. The apparent the conflict of interest law has several stages to it, you know, one of which is an apparent conflict, and that's what Stuart is referring to. Yes. However, if one has an apparent conflict and you reveal it, then you could continue as moderator, from my understanding. Then there's the other conflict of interest that uh, you're taking. $5,000 from uh, somebody and you're putting it in your pocket. Right. I mean, that's, that's certainly a little different conflict of interest. But uh, I would, I don't, I bet Joe Byrd would not make you step aside. Well, the, the town meeting times says that you could ask town council, but their opinion isn't the gospel. I have to call the Board of Ethics. So I will do that tomorrow. I, I think the Board of Ethics is going to see there may be a parent conflict. And if you disclose that apparent conflict, and uh, it happens all the time in the town hall. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, again, my concern is for the committee, not for me. Um, and so I would You're being very magnanimous. I think you probably just want to get off another board. <laughs> <laughs> no, if I wanted to be off the board, Joe, I'd say, I'm, oh. I'm done. Okay. I wouldn't come here. I would have emailed oh. Andy and said, see you later. Yeah, see you. So, um, this is one of the problems we have in a small community. Only mm -hmm. a certain number of people that are well qualified are participating. Right. And it, it's happening more and more. And <coughs> you know, how do we so, cope? So if, <clears throat> if someone wants to do an APR and comes to the compound that says, hey, I'm going to do an APR, and the town's contribution is $10,000, and the, we bring it to the CPA committee, and the CPA committee says, yeah, that's a legitimate expense, the town's share is $10,000, let's recommend it to town meeting. Can I stand up at town meeting and speak in favor of this, or will, would I be in conflict? How could you be in I conflict? Don't think you're, I don't think you're in conflict there. It's not that you're on two different boards, it's the fact that uh, I am in a 
position of power. As moderator. As moderator. So, so here's another thought. I mean, because having you at these committees, I mean, having you here is very useful to us because you answer a lot of the questions that we have, especially about APR. And you know the, the town really, really well. Most of our votes, I would say, almost all of them, once in a, they're usually pretty close to unanimous, mm -hmm. and maybe there's only one or two. You can be like John and just abstain to everything and still be here. I don't. Well, again. I mean, I'm just saying yeah, you, because you don't say, you don't, you don't give a vote, but you're very. It's helpful yeah. having your information. That I'm kind of with you, Amy, on that because he can. He can disclose it. He said, just by way of disclosure, I'm a member of the CPA committee. And it, it, to someone out there, it may be an apparent conflict. Uh, but I am disclosing and I'm not voting. I'm just conducting business as usual. Because I'd hate to lose your information. I agree. Because it's very helpful. That. Well, let me do this then. Tomorrow, I will try to get a hold of the Ethics Commission and see what they tell me. And then we'll go from there. Tonight we'll carry on as if nothing happened, and uh, mm -hmm. well, well, I, unless I think, Andy think, has more. I think you can count on the support of the people on the committee at least here today, mm -hmm. if you want to continue on. Yeah, I'm not. I, I'm not worried about any of that, Andy. I, I, and I, if if we all, if the majority felt like it wasn't worth taking the chance because of the con, the potential issue with the conflict, I would understand that. I would not be offended. Um, but just let me find out what they say, and then we'll go from there. Okay. Okay. okay fair enough. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Uh, this is supposed to be our yearly public uh, comment meeting. They put an ad in the newspaper, and They're beating the doors down. The only one. <laughs> and she didn't even see it in the paper. You saw the ad. All right. Um, so yeah. Ah. Um. So since there's nobody here, I guess I'll call that part of the meeting close. Close. Yeah. And we'll move on to, uh, but we don't have minutes of last. No, time. sorry. <laughs> that's a little. That's all right. That's all right. <laughs> it's, it's, um, it's a tough time of year, I tell you. Yeah, I'm right. moving through the agenda. Okay, so the treasurer's report, which. Uh, yeah, we had that from last meeting. Right. Right. So the clawbacks. Okay, so yeah, I can I can report to that. So, so I talked to them about a couple things on this report. Yeah. One one is I'm sorry, then who's next? Sorry. Uh, the them would be the treasure, I okay. pretty much. Um, so uh, one of the things was is see, there is a negative number in here for North Hadley Church restoration. They spent more than what the town approved for. So there's a negative number. I said, how can we have a negative number? They're going to look into that. Right. Because so they figure just, out what they just took in the bills and paid them and not didn't look at Wow. Wow. <laughs> so we're going to work on that $1,400. They don't have overdraft protection. <laughs> <laughs> And then we have another one for the um, El Hadley Elementary School Playground. That was overdrawn also by $983. But we think. Oh, so there's precedent. Yes. <laughs> but the, the PTO had their share, right? They were going to contribute so much yes. to it. Yes. So the uh, treasurer thinks that she's going to look into this too, that what happened was is which bucket it took it from. It might have been, it, it might be um, an accountant here. Right. Right. So okay. those are the two names. So then we have money that are, that's old. The North Hadley Hall Russell School Preservation, which is from 2014, yes. the annual town meeting. That's 21,600. That is actually on the warrant right now to be returned. Okay. Okay. Good. But, according to David Nixon, the select board has decided to use that money for well, let him some purpose in North, uh, in Russell School. 
Okay, so they had a meeting last Wednesday yeah. and they brought this up and I told them no, that they couldn't do that. Okay. <laughs> Good for you. I said. You can't do that. You're, you're I, I said, well, I said, there, it is, it, there's for a specific purpose and it looks like it was for a plan. They said, well, this is for a plan. I said, well, I said, what you're talking about, your plan. I said, you came to us regarding that plan. First of all, no one showed up to support it the second time when we were voting and we had questions. Right. And like, nobody showed up. I said, nobody showed up. Second of all, that plan was, was declined because of the application. I said, so you, you can't, this is for a different purpose. You can't go and use this money. Right. So I expect that to stay on the warrant. Now he was there, David was there at that time when we talked about that and, and, and David Phil was the one trying to put the money, use that money because they knew that we declined the plan for Russell Schools. So they said, oh, you declined that plan, we'll just use the money that we already got. I said, no, you can't do, you that. Can't do that. So I don't expect, I expect that 21-6 to stay on the warrant to be returned. I told some people that we were having a meeting tonight. I offered, I said, this is our last meeting. So my suggestion is, if you have something, and I said this to the whole select board, if there is something you want to fight for, if you feel that it was unjust, I suggest you come to this meeting. And I don't see anybody and here. here they are. I, yeah. I, I said it to several people about the Russell School that if they had something they would like to fight for, because there is an application already in, this would be the last opportunity to come and discuss it. Right, because we we didn't recommend that the article that was presented. Yeah. One way or the other, that money has to come back. Yes. Right. And then they have to somebody's got to reapply to for get whatever it they yeah for yes. whatever they Correct. have in mind. Now I had someone else that gave me a fabulous idea about what to do with Russell School. So they talked about making it into a tourism place, you know, uh, like a visitor center. I'm mm -hmm. like, oh, that's a great idea. I mean, that would be, that'd yeah. be great if someone did that because, and, and, and keep the place. But, but you, if you want to, to look at that or how to get that started, then you should put in an application to CPA for a plan. Right. But it has to be a purpose for something like that. Right, 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 right. <laughs> and, and maybe we would look at it, depending on what they had. But um, I said someone, as far as the application, how it looked, how we reviewed it, it looked like it was for demolition. Uh, hmm. why, and the, it didn't really say it, what the plan was for, you know, hmm. for something right, like that. Right, right, right. It didn't. It didn't do you mean the 2014 one or the no, most no, no. recent one? No, 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 the most recent one. Right. What does the most recent one say? It said something. Uh, it was to um, categorize priority repairs. Prior, yeah, it had to do with either no, demolition or priority. There were two parts repairs. to it. One part was to get an estimate on demolition. Okay. And the other one was on repairs. The repair of a roof, which is really not allowed, but we granted it anyways. Right. I don't know how we did that. Well, it is. It, there was one descending boat. I think it is allowed, actually. But um, okay. So we'll have to see what they decide to do. You yeah. Know, I, I think it's unrealistic to expect the select board to come to us. Yeah. Let I me make sure he didn't. We're going to have to go to them, and I'm happy to do it. Um, they just have to ask. I'm going to make sure he didn't take it off. He made changes to this warrant. Oh, he doesn't do stuff like that. <laughs> Let me make sure. <laughs> Is that the hot off the press? Oh, it changes every, it changed in a few days. Let's see, this is the most recent. Let's see. Oh, he did take it off. He did. It's not on this next page. No, he crossed it out. It's right there at the bottom. Uh -huh. Yep, ATM, and he crossed it out. Okay, so we'll have to make a bigger deal about it, so. Well, we'll see, I'll, I'll ask. You're gonna, yeah. I, I mentioned it, I have, it's on camera. I told him no, mm -hmm. but. Yep. They but he do, they do what they want. They didn't listen to you? No, of course not. <laughs> um, all right. And then uh, there were the pillars, too. So, uh, uh, they were going to do the town hall yeah. pillars. In, in this, they haven't started yet. The, no. bill, the things logically should come from the select board to the <laughs> building committee 
to us. It appears that this building committee is kind of a rogue committee. If they want to do something, they, Tim seems to put it in. For example, the gazebo that was yeah. scheduled for the common. Yeah. No one on the select board knew about it, but Tim thought it would be a nice idea. I thought that was Molly's project. She, I thought she's well, the one that did it, and she said Tim to go do it. I thought it was her oh, project. Oh, okay. I, I, that well, was my everybody denies it, but... Uh, oh, well, well, that's a lot of... They do a lot of that. Yeah, yeah I know. Well, failure is an orphan. Being political, I know. So, why... Uh, all right. So, so, on here, they do have the pillars, town hall pillars, yep. 35000 to come back to us. Right. So, I said, why? I said, why... Because they're not going to do it. Why did you apply for them, then? If they had anticipated doing that. No, that was the compromise, because they wanted to paint the whole building. Right. And in order not to make them go away empty-handed, we said, well, maybe we can allow you to do the pillars. The pillars were taken and off of the original paint of the job 10 years ago. But, so that was the, uh, I think, the way the vote went. Right, we, but if the pillars, they, they said that the pillars needed work. Right. Yes, Tim said that. Tim well, said that. if they need work, why don't we do it? Exactly correct. Good question. Did he lie? Did they not need work? Did they? Do? I don't know. I'm I not just saying they, if they don't need, need work. They do not need much work. I looked at it. Do you, you see anybody okay. here representing the town? But I, I, I couldn't believe it when I saw. It. I'm like, why are you? You just got that. Why are you giving it back already? I mean, it's it's. That's a question to ask. It, huh? So, okay. well, I would encourage Good you to uh, I would encourage you to speak up at town meeting and ask these questions. Okay. Not, I mean, don't just wait, but you know, that's the time when we got to bring this stuff forward. Well, um, we're at it. Uh, the uh, cleanup of the Turka Park, the hay the hay field that developed there, and uh, cost fifteen hundred dollars. Where does that money come from? That's the mowing, the cleanup. The mowing, it, That's it was beyond to be. beyond mowing. They had to cut it all, and then they had to rake it up. And I, I think they had Omas to do it. I, I, I'm not sure, but someone said it cost the town fifteen hundred dollars. I don't know where that came from. I know that the DPW was supposed to take on the the maintenance of that. Correct. But they were supposed to. But maybe they let it go long enough that they. That's what happened. Is, I think that's what we're So it probably should come from DPW because they were the one that we were supposed to just handle mm -hmm. the maintenance. Mm -hmm. But once again, it's out of our hair because once it passed the it's town meeting. Out of our hair, but I don't think I don't think it should get past Park and Rec. I we know. granted it, but but that, I guess that's between Park and Rec and Correct. DPW. Speaking speak hey. of Park and Rec. Of the devil. <laughs> I'm talking about the devil, not the. I guess my time is. Sorry, late guys. It's all right. Glad you're here. Jessica. Hi, I'm Andy. I'm a grad student at UMass. I'm sorry. I'm a grad student at UMass. Welcome. Any uh, anything else in the treasury? Uh, no, I think that that's. Yeah, that's pretty much it. As far as the changes that happened since the last time we talked. Those were the only I'd changes. I'd like to make a comment relative to the negative balances. Yeah. Since it used to be in the good old days that the chairman would get the receipts for the work, who would then take it to the treasurer, and they would both review it, both would sign off, then it would go to the treasurer to get paid, to the town treasurer to get paid. We never had a negative balance on anything. Now that we are no longer in charge, this committee is no longer in charge of verifying the bills, and then we get this happening. I find that very interesting. Mm -hmm. I was told that the reason why they stopped doing that was because we waited too long to pay the bills and it was gonna affect the town's borrowing bond rating and if I, I was in town hall once a week to check the bills mm -hmm. and I bothered Randy every single time 
to say, hey, we got a bill, you want to sign it? And he'd look at it, and I'd look at it, and we'd sign it, and I'd go back to town hall, and I'd bring it to the corner, and I'd put it in the treasurer's slot to pay, to be paid, mm -hmm. to, or to go to the next step. Right. Once a week. I was told that that affects the town's bond rating, and we can't do that, we're not supposed to do that anymore. See, keep an eye on that stuff. If it yeah. continues to happen, something's got to change. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cause that's just yeah. silly. Yeah. Yeah. Because at least we Amy have. Amy is on the finance committee. And she's the representative. So. She saw me over at the capital planning. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I was gonna, gonna say. <laughs> yeah, I went to that. It was a quick meeting, though. But then we got three more afterwards, though. <laughs> You're just popular. Yeah. Um, okay, we will have to see if there's any questions. questions. Um, do we want to talk about the uh, yearly CPA plan? The one that the uh, Pioneer Valley Planning Commission wrote for us? Did, did we, yes. we ever we never vote it on? I think, oh. regardless, there's a new person on board. They have no idea what it is. I think, except what they have written, and it's up to us to, you had a couple of corrections. It's up to us just to get a, a copy of it. I think he sent an electronic copy. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Yeah. Can yeah. I, right before we get too much into this, can we just, oh. just cause Andy just came back in. Sure. We were talking about park and rec. Do you know um, the um, maintenance, who's gonna take care of, it's it's gonna be DPW, but there was a bill. It's a jerk of park. Yeah. Uh, it's a yeah. jerk of park. A bill for a lot more money, right, Joe? Would you $1, say fifteen hundred dollars? That's that's uh, coming from via the highway department. So. Yeah. So, so allegedly, there's yeah. A, you don't there have. You didn't bill. get a bill, did you? No. Okay. I don't know. Um, the entire premise of the park maintenance, which was a question that was asked all throughout this process, starting three years ago, was that the DPW would maintain it once it was completed, which it was in June. And the fact that, I don't know, what, the 1,500, I, I, I've only heard a little bit of, of some of the concerns, one of which is why they decided to mow the hill, which was all planted with um, yes, wildflowers, flowers. to have, actually help hold the, the, the hill the in hill place. Like and there was, I heard comments, so they don't have a mower that's going to be able to mow that slope. I'm like, it was designed so you didn't have to mow it. I mean, there's, they're yeah. knocked down all the, they look, they look weedy at this time of year because the yeah. blossoms are all down. Mm -hmm. They didn't talk to, park, park and Rec was not part of that meeting. Nobody from, the, even the Friends of Park and Rec was involved in the DPW meeting with the contractor. I heard about it because one of the neighbors told me that they got the, they saw somebody over there uh, talking with uh, DPW truck. And then they went ahead and just paid $1,500 oh, to have that place we went. I don't know what what the deal was. That's what that's the, that's what the room current rumor is. That's yeah. crazy talk. I mean, first of all, you're looking at mowing this thing. If you're mowing it every other week, which is typical for well, did you you saw what it looked like? I did see what it looked okay. like. Okay, it had gotten way out of hand. Mm -hmm. It needed a harvester. Yes, <laughs> um, but still, if you're mowing it every other week, 26 mowing weeks just for ahas. 13 weeks of mowing, maybe 14 if you get both ends. Um, and you know, I don't know what they're getting for a per mow price, but if I have no idea. What, what is it if, if you were to hire a lawn, lawn care company, what do they charge? I, I, I hire them for some rental properties that I own. Yeah. And I, I get $35 and $45 every other week. So if I was even if I was to say double, double them and double them again, you know, quadruple that, you know. Yeah. You're looking at 150 bucks times, you know, times, times 14, 13, 14. 14. Yeah. But one question I would have for all those that have all this angst is, is it in the, about Park and Rec paying for all this, where is it in the uh, senior center's budget or the library's budget to maintain these new buildings that they're getting or the fire department, fire department substation budget? Where is the building maintenance a line item in their department, or any of these asset line um, maintenance. Is there a line item for maintenance? They have, they've created uh, maintenance, a whole new um, spot for maintenance, so it's not supposed to be in each. Right, what they did was they 
for, from the building committee standpoint, yeah. they took all the, they had, departments had their own budgets for little things, mm -hmm. but everything else, as you know, anything bigger than the, the few thousand dollars that they had was a, 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 a town meeting capital expense, which took you know, two years, year and a half to get through, unless it was an emergency. All of those department budgets added together were sixty, sixty-four thousand yeah. dollars for all of the buildings that we have in town. The maintenance budget was sixty-four grand a year. A year. Some of those buildings are sixty-four, six, sixty-four alone, yeah. let alone every property that we have. Mm. Yeah. It's it's starvation diet. Yes, you bring up a good point. The University of Massachusetts buildings before you came, where a lot of them were falling in disrepair, and it was kind of an embarrassment. Now, when they bond a building through the Massachusetts Building Authority, they will include so many years of maintenance, so that bonding includes maintenance. It, and there's a state form, formula that they calculate based on the value, the size, um, and the age of the building a percentage, I think it's between three and 10% yep. or something like that, mm -hmm. which they say you should estimate as an annual budget for maintenance. And that's, you know, again, depending if they have a formula that, that calculates based on those, those variables, how big is it, how old is it, you know, uh, what, what's the value of it. Mm -hmm. um, so that is something that has been omitted in the town budgets, as we know, they, nobody has, there's no set aside. Building committee was a strong advocate of getting at least a quarter million dollars injection into that town maintenance budget, just to start getting ahead of some of these projects, mm -hmm. um, rather than coming to town meeting every time you need to replace a floor mm -hmm. or replace a window. It's, it's silly by the time, you know, you go to t six months for the town meeting, you get the repair. Mm -hmm. The cycle is, is wait, and by that time, your estimate is stale. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and, and the number has increased, so you wind up having to come back for more. So, anyway, that was, sorry, that little juncture off the, off the lawn mowing. <coughs> you know, if they got a $1,500 bill in that place. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you. I mean, it, it did look pretty bad, but part of it is they didn't mow it for. Ever. 10 weeks since it was completed in, in early June. So that was kind of a catch-up bill. You could be. Yeah. You, know, you, didn't, you didn't pay for all those things. You, you, probably, had to be. you probably should take that sign down. That's <coughs> yes, well, we're, we're meeting Thursday night. And we're going to take the sign down. That's so much for the neighbor's contribution. Yeah. So, so, instead of, so that was the sign showing the friends. Right. So We actually might have some new friends again. Well, once, you, once it looks good again, now that it's all mowed, yeah. it would be great if we could put a sign up there that said CPA dollars in use. I think, that's I think you, we should have one of those on every project, frankly. Yeah. yeah. Your CPA tax dollars at work. Yeah. We can use our administrative fund. Yeah. Sometimes it could be an embarrassment to spend what well, is it up to Well, you wouldn't want to do it when it wasn't mowed. $300,000 for. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, what would, should, well, what would be the value of that? The, what would be the value of that? Right. What do you mean? Of, 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 the of the sign. What what benefit would it provide? It would provide um, what's going on. It, it would provide the select board seemed to think that that's why they were going after one percent of the CPA funds because what do we use the money at? We need to show that we're using the money and it's being put to good use, and we want. We want it's communication with with the residents, showing where their tax dollars are being used, and that we are using them, and it is going for good use. I agree. Because only between 100 and 200 people actually show up to these town meetings, so the rest of the 5,000 people in Hadley don't know anything about it or where their money is being used. And, and you can buy a half a dozen of metal signs that can be reused. You're right. It, you know. Library had a sign that said "Thank you, Hadley CPA." That they put, had a banner they put on the front. What on the front lawn? I don't know. Maybe they still have it. I don't know. Well, maybe we. It, it doesn't have to be a, a wooden sign. It could be even a vinyl type of banner. Yep. Right. Yeah. Of some sort that we can keep. Re <laughs> that we can keep no, reusing. I think it's a good idea. And and it, it, it's up for 
a period of time and we take it down and the next project that comes along your, your CPA dollars at work. See the CPA dollars at Turker Park would have been up until it was completed. Before when it still when it looked beautiful. <laughs> when I take the sign away. You know, yeah, it goes to hell. <laughs> Well, I think a lot of our problem is communication, is the town doesn't have good communication with people. That no, we, they don't. We, I mean, we don't. We should have, we should have a, an emailing list, I think. We should have a way to send out quarterly um, newsletters to the residents and tell them what's happening. Um, our superintendent has an amazing newsletter she sends out almost weekly to every parent that goes to that school and she we get more through the superintendent's newsletter <laughs> than I, we do at the town i mean she tells us when meetings are she tells you when i mean all the town stuff mm -hmm. oh, yeah. and, and make sure you go and vote and i mean it's an amazing little newsletter and, but mm -hmm. it's just an email if we could collect emails and send out information or even um have a quarterly newsletter of some sort and have them out at senior centers at at all different locations, people can just pick them up. But I think it's, it's a, good idea. A, a big thing on the communication. Yeah, I agree. We'll have to look into the signs. Yeah. See if we can use that. Uh, administrative fund for that. And then, I don't think we need town meeting approval for that. I think once they give us the administrative money, I think we so we'll just be careful. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, th I wouldn't consider this as a per project expense. Again, this would be an investment in you know, marketing for for CPA. The, for CPA, and again, it's a, a, a sign that could be signs that could be reused. That they don't have to be big. They don't have to be lavish. Uh -uh. Say, we'll look into that. Committee chair and mayor's <laughs> Well, if you go down Northampton, and uh, uh, there's a big building on the right on the right hand side, side yes. it says the Northampton CPA dollars at work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, that's really good. So we all know that the select board decided not to reduce the uh, yep. uh, and they did take CPA it off. surcharge yep. and they took it off the warrant. They did a very good job. No, what I would what did they take off the warrant it. specifically for the repair of the roof? Yeah. No, no. Mm -hmm. the, uh, they had a motion to reduce the surcharge from 3% oh, to 3%. Oh, that's not that. Okay. Yeah. Right. You did a very good job presenting mm -hmm. your argument, Andy. I appreciate yeah. it. Well, it was an easy argument to make. So, uh, so hopefully that's done. Until next time. Until next time. I wasn't going to say that. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, the new application form? Anybody get to see the? Andy, before. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, yes. well, before Andy and Amy came in, we were discussing the, the, the role of the CPA committee at a town meeting. Are we in our vote? which may be five to one, advising the town how we feel on it, or are we merely recommending to the town with no advisory consent? I think we have a responsibility, because we're vetting these projects, to let them know how we feel. Uh, Joe, are, are you suggesting that we vote, um, we, we maybe take one vote that says whether or not this passes the CPA uh, qualifications and then another vote to say whether or not you support it no I'm saying our vote is more than just saying it passes the qualifications I think it's already mm -hmm. assumed it passes qualifications that's because why it's, it's on the work because that's why it's at town meeting right I, we wouldn't let it go to the wa warrant and wouldn't even go to town meeting if it didn't pass qualifications right. but, that's but sometimes we don't have a unanimous vote we have a, so but the, the question Amy is is this committee just a committee that looks at some at an application and says it passes CPA muster, off it goes to town meeting, or are we recommending that town meeting vote yay or nay? And so when the discussion we had was when we first started, it was our opinion that all we were doing was vetting it and saying yes, it qualifies under the CPA regs, let town meeting decide. But we've heard from various places that that's not how the law looks at it. Mm. They look at it as we are advising the town. I mean, because we have the ability to 
uh, reject something, then that means that if we approve it, that we also have the ability to endorse it. Yeah. So I think yeah. that's... I would like to see us have, and that's how I we do the finance, because we have to recommend or not recommend, mm -hmm. and it's endorsing it. It's it's. Well, we don't. We say that at every town meeting that the CPA recommends this vote, this article by a vote of X, and it's five to four unanimously. We that's how it's that's how it's read at town meeting. Right, and I think the assumption is that we are endorsing it. Yeah. Not we're just advising that you now it passes muster, now you people vote on it. We do more than see if it qualifies. We should vet certain things like the windows. We need, Andy was right, uh, we need some bids. Uh, just don't pull a number out of the hat and say vote on it and because it passes the qualifications. We think it's a good idea. No. I don't disagree mm -hmm. with that at all. And I don't, I don't care what, how we're looked at at town meeting. I just think we need to, we all need to understand how we're being looked at. That's all. Because it, it, if there's something that, you know, I know we've talked about this. You get into a situation where I don't like it, Joe doesn't like it, Edwin doesn't like it, but it still passes CPA muster. So because it's only six or eight of us, do we have the authority to, to reject it? I would imagine we do. Well, I know. Well, but should we? But at every town meeting, someone stands up and says, the CPA by a vote of eight to three or whatever, endorses this article. Right. That's it. So now, at that point, if you're in the Opposition, you have a chance to raise your hand and speak against it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're committing all the votes. No, no one usually speaks against it unless they're called upon to speak. Right. But I do have something for them. Okay. So there has been times. So if we don't say there's enough of us that don't like it, but it passed and we want it to go to town meeting, you can put on the warrant, you can still have it go on the warrant, and we, the vote was. Um, against you know five, five against four. you can still show it as against right all against i don't think so why not we do it all th we've done it with we've the finance it and they've done time. it with other things i think in our committee if we vote if it doesn't get a majority to go to town meeting it's dead no i mean yes yeah, the finance committee you, you guys are advisory right so not yeah. policy are we well no, i think i mean i understand what amy's saying it's that we agree that it gets it passes muster but we don't agree with the project so i think it's up to us whether so we want to put it to, to to town meeting so we could so say so don't do it at all ask Stuart about that okay. it's up to us to vote it if we if we don't like it we can always you can always vote against it if it doesn't get a majority of this committee it's done yeah. but if it, if you want it to can so the question is to Stuart. If we want it to go to town meeting, we don't necessarily agree with it, but we want it to but be on there. <laughs> Can we do it? Can we do it? Yeah. I'm just saying that was your question, I, I right? Understand. Yes, uh, yeah. But and that's an interesting But concept. it's not it's not a binary choice, right? What we do is we work with the applicants to make their projects approvable. And so we don't just say yes it fits through the CPA funnel shape and can go to town meeting, we, we do more than that. You know, we, we knock the proposals around to see if they hold up. We help the applicants with, with the wording, we help them with the changes, we change the scope, and we're able to do anything to these proposals. Um, I think can't believe it. So, Somebody's saying they're watching the TV. No, that's okay. <laughs> I, hate, I hate those things. I curse the day they were invented. You know, she, I she, she never watches. <laughs> um, uh, what was I saying? We can do anything we want to the proposals. We can originate them. We can take them from somebody and give them to somebody else. 
we can find half of it, a third of it, all of it. We we can no, reject it that way. Right. But if we reject it, it can't go to town meeting. I'm sure. Right. But I would encourage you, if you don't like a proposal, to say so at town meeting. But sometimes people will say, "Well, the one person who voted against it say why?" Usually it's Shell. Right? <laughs> um, or I, I know Joe said he didn't want people speaking against the proposals, but um, you know, I don't care as much. I think if, if you don't like something, you should say so. You know, mm -hmm. um, but I'm pretty sure that if we vote it down, if it doesn't get a majority of the people present at the meeting, it, it can't go to town. You can't go to town. Could, meeting. You, could you ask that question though, just to verify, oh, yeah. please? Oh, definitely. Thank you, because yeah. it is interesting. I mean, we've had stuff in here where. A fair amount of us have not liked it, but we also felt that it was town meeting worthy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so we voted for it to get it to town meeting, but we were not in favor of it necessarily. So it's, it's an interesting uh, I think it's a issue. lot of those Oops. came up a little bit when we were giving money to another town. Right. Remember? Mm -hmm. That's right. The Smith Charities. For the courthouse and Smith Charities. And the courthouse yeah. and the, some of those. Yeah. yeah. I was shocked the Smith Charity one went through, but they did. Yeah, you ne you never know a town meeting. Yeah. Anyway. This, anyway. This, this is where we started off on this road because I've, I've seen that, exactly that. And that's why I'm trying to get clarification is what does our vote mean? We don't, it doesn't really say recommended by. Does it? it does. It, it says does. recommended. I think it's assumed that it does. Well, it, by most people, it does for the audience. Yes. It does because yes. they didn't say recommended. Uh, what's the recommendation of the CPA committee or words to that effect? Mm -hmm. And the CPA uh, votes, you know, six in six favor, to, six two to against. three mm -hmm. to and bring it to town meeting. But it doesn't say that. It doesn't say to bring it to town meeting. It right. says six in favor, two against. Right. Meaning recommended. Yeah. Right, so it's, so it's implied that it's recommended. Correct. But right. which is not the same as whether or not it meets muster. Right. Right. And, and I don't, I, I know we talked about, well, no, we're not, Edwin, because yeah. we, we talked about this a long time ago. We don't want to be five, six people sitting, sitting at this table speaking for the town, necessarily. You know, that's why we, we wanted to be, uh, advisory in that it passed CPA. Now let the townspeople vote on it. Because what if we, again, What's the difference? We're, that's what we're doing. That's what we're recommending this article to, for either uh, to be included in town meeting and we'll let you decide or to pass it in because it passes muster. What's the difference? Well, the difference is that people don't look at it like you're only saying it passes muster. It, it's, it says it's re we recommend it, meaning it's like any other board that recommends it. We are in favor of it. We may not be in favor of it, but we feel that it is worthy of the townspeople voting on it. It meets all the criteria for a CPA project, but we don't. But you don't necessarily vote. You don't like it, so it meets all the criteria, but something you don't like. And, and I would like to see it in that particular case, because what if we did have a split vote? What if there was three against and two? Five, five four. Yeah, yeah uh, something like that. Or well, four, five even. Yeah, well, and, it was, it, and it was, and it was. It doesn't go through. It, sh it doesn't but go through. Right. Yeah. You're saying it shouldn't even be put on. Correct. Right. Which, which maybe, I think maybe it should. No. Well, I think you got to call the state house and get the law changed. Yeah. Well, th yeah. Well, well I, I think mean, that's, that's the question. Are, that's that's what what we, the question. That's what we need clarification on. Yeah. Well, yeah. But I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure if 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 someone makes a proposal, and we vote four in favor, five against, that's it. It it stops. It doesn't go to town meeting. Period. In the subject. Right. But let's say you were to sit there and say, in good conscience, I know that this meets all the criteria for a CPA project. To you know. Let's say, well, let's say, say, it's, say North, North Hadley Hall, and you were opposed to spending the money on it, but you know that it met the criteria, but you didn't want to spend that kind of money on it. So vote against school. it. So, so vote against it. Right. Well, it doesn't but, go to town meeting. But but it's except what simple. you're saying is a real strength of this committee, which is that it's not personal. Mm -hmm. you know, it's not, I'm against this, so 
I'm voting no. We have another criteria that we use to judge mm -hmm. the, the projects. And so I can see, you know, it's a slippery slope, especially with the public not understanding that well. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I think it's a good, it, a good discussion, and it's not semantics, that it really is a real issue. Um, compounded by the fact that people don't know what's happening in town, and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and I think we've been, we've been moving away from just the, does it get through the CPA law, does it pass the CPA muster, to more active in shaping the, shaping the proposals. So, I don't know, we'll see how far that goes, right? I mean, mm -hmm. if a town person came up to you and said, you know, help me with my proposal, right? You'd say yes. Right? I'm sure every, <laughs> every single one of us has gotten phone calls saying, hey, I want to do this. I want to apply for CPA funds. How can I do it to yeah. that? And you said, oh, they turn everyone down. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, I think this is a good, uh, a good discussion because it, I think it's a real issue. Mm -hmm. um, but the CPA plan, do we just want to table it? I think it's important that we start to get that through, that we have something there. I mean, we're supposed to have one. I think. Yeah. Well, I think we can make the, changes down the road. Can't we? Re, I mean, we can approve it, and then down the road next year, when we look well, at it again, can't we make a change? We're, yes, suppo yes. we're supposed to change it every year. Yeah. Right. At least in public. So anything like that's a living document that right. can be altered. Right. seem fit, it belongs to the, the committee, so we can do with it as we please. Yeah, and we're supposed to, that was one of the guidelines that we were supposed to do. We were supposed to do it a long time ago. Mm -hmm. yeah. We just been kind of. Do we want to wait till we have better attendance? Well, when will that be? That won't be to another town meeting because I mean, we're not going to meet again. Right, December. But what's, like December. what's the rush? We made it this long. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, well, we're going to get start to get pushback from others. I mean, they're already trying to take our funds. Do, do, I, do, I, <laughs> do I take that then as a motion that we should accept? I would, I would make a motion to accept the existing CPA plan as, 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 presented. as presented. Okay, I'll second it for our argument's sake. He mailed that out in early this year, right? Uh, before you retired. Right. Yeah, but I want to say it was shortly after we met with him in, in the winter months. Mm, well, he was working on it for quite a bit. Quite I know, a long time. It was, yeah, it was over a, a year of working on it. I think they did oh, think yeah. he did make some changes. He made some additional changes when he came back and presented to and us. I think we was, paid for it, too. Yes, we did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We did a lot. We should have a document. We do. So, I mean, no, he wants the paperwork. The paperwork. I did the document. Well, what I would like to see is that Excel spreadsheet sent over. Do you have the Excel on, on uh, email? I don't want to recreate no. the Excel. It's in, it's in, I have the paper, but I, I'd like to see. I might have it. Yeah, I may have it for Then we can we continue it. with it. Would you, would you resend it, yeah. please? Yeah. But for the, in the meantime, I mean, if, if the feeling is that we need to have something in place, whatever it is, then we have a motion and a second. Should we just say yes? We'll, we'll, we'll what we're discussing. Yeah. And then just so that we have something and then we can fix it as need be if there is anything. It's not there. really going to change anything. No. I mean, it's just if somebody sues us. Yeah. And I don't <laughs> see that happening. Well, see, <laughs> no. Things have all since when Joe was the chairman. You came in, you have to have some of your skin in the game. You have to show that you were had some of your funds in your committee or your group contributing to this. Yeah. That's gone. No, it's not. We still try to do that. Yeah. I don't think... Every single proposal that we got the last time, people were saying, okay, um... It, it, well, there were some small amounts. Right. The Lake Warner one. I think we're stretching the small amount. Well, I don't know. I mean, no. we don't, how do we count for it? Was $600,000 different? We can't. We can't account for it. We can't. Trust me, darling. I, you, you believe him? Well, <laughs> no. I, 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 don't, I, I don't. I believe the, <laughs> what was presented 
Now that's all I can believe. I don't have any Go by the Tucker Park and see that thermometer. It's about this far. And they asked, they said, you know, are we going to know, get this one? Joe, how much more are you going to beat the Turkey Park today? You know what? Because, wait a minute. I, 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 I don't you know. know. Listen, listen to me. Listen to me. For the last two okay. years. Okay. Uh, one, you one cannot listen with your mouth going like this. Listen well, to me. We spent $300,000 on a project that is a waste of money. In your opinion. You think it's worth 300000 In your opinion. No, well, how, what do you think? I don't know. I, have, I can't form an opinion. We'll have you be the deciding vote. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know where this park is. It's the Turkey Park is. Uh, Huntington Road and Park. Well, this is one of those issues that I was referring to before, where it, the Turkey Park complies with CPA, but some of us don't believe it was a good way to spend the money. It, but the townspeople obviously did. It was yeah. controversial so it's a done along deal. the ways, but the town, the town had a chance to vote for it every time. That's because the, the neighborhood can pack a town meeting. Well, whatever it is, one editorial politics comment, is politics. A, a representative <laughs> town meeting can sway a vote, even though the majority of the citizens may not think it's a good idea. But you can bring mm -hmm. enough people, and because we barely can make a quorum sometimes, to sway a town meeting and spend three hundred thousand dollars. And that's true with every oh, any okay. exactly. Every uh, that, no, that's how I'm telling her. That's let alone it's, it's, it's supposed to be right. the purest form of democracy, mm -hmm. but you can certainly pack the vote. Mm -hmm. But but in the other cases, a lot of times, which is something I hear often, which I don't want to, it, it's. People say, let's send it to town meeting, let's send it to town meeting, let them vote, let them vote. No. It's only, you're only talking between 100 to 200 people that actually make the vote. What is your leadership? Let's show some leadership here and let's may ask some good questions and put good recommendations in it. And it's not just let's throw it to town meeting. You have to show leadership. And I think that is That's important. A good point. And, uh, I, I love this discussion. Let's continue it after we finish the vote on the CPA. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I thought we were going to have our first fist fight. So thank you guys. And Tim is not even here. Yeah, guys. <laughs> is there any other discussion on the but CPA thank you, plan? Edward. I do share that, sir. Thank yeah. you. Every single time. Here it comes. Yep. Yep. Here it okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, He's paper? talking about prevailing wage. Okay. okay. Any other discussion on the CPA plan? No. Then all in uh, favor of accepting it? Aye. 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 As submitted by PDPC. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. If you we go to it? If we were taking yeah. minutes, oh. we'd write it down. Oh, I'm going to write it down. Only about that yeah. thick, so. Yeah. Well, we I'll have, get to them with the other minutes. We have the video. Oh. But you do great work. We are not criticizing you. <laughs> um, okay, you thank you, everybody. Edwin? Yeah. Okay. All right. So. Back to the discussion about whether you vote for projects you don't like because they qualify. Yes, I'm destroying the consensus of my own committee by saying, vote no. You know, I, why, why, would, why do you have to vote no? What criteria do you use? Why vote yes? You like it, you don't like it, it fits, it doesn't fit. Each person on the committee gets to decide how they vote. I suppose that this committee is no different than the select board, for instance. When they there's five of them, they vote, and it affects the whole town, no matter what they you know, no matter how it is. So, in that respect, we're no different. Um, I still struggle with the fact that we have the ability to kill a project that is complies with the CPA regulations because we don't like it. But in theory, we are supposed to be a diverse group. And if we all, if we, of the majority of us decides that we don't like it, are we supposed to be representative of the whole town in that respect or not? Well, well I would just say just to amend what you said is that we don't kill the project. You just say you can't use CPA money for it. So there are other ways to get stuff done in town, although it's uh, <laughs> so. Uh, that's a 
big stress within this committee, which is it's a lot of responsibility for an appointed group of people. You know, but that's why you're all on representatives of other committees, and to, so all the constituencies are represented. Is everybody on this committee uh, been sworn in? Sworn in? Oh, that was the next thing. Oh. Okay, please go to town hall. Make sure that your when is your term is up and stuff like yeah. that. <laughs> I probably don't even have a term. I haven't been in the town meeting report for years oh. as a member of this committee. Hmm. <laughs> well, we well, know, David, well, then you don't have to worry about the conflict of interest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, David Nixon says, "Ah, oh, we found the spot for him. He's all set." Maybe he is. Because you're, you're just an at-large member now. Oh, yeah. I'm not. I'm no longer. Uh, no, the oh, that's right. Because Long Reef Planning well, Committee yeah, is gone. Too, that's right. 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 Yeah, well, anyhow, I, I, you know, the more we, we talk about potential conflict here, the more I get concerned about conflict at town meeting. Because that money coming back, for instance, that gets brought up. I'm in total agreement that it needs to come back. Mm -hmm. But if I'm going to be moderator and I pick, I just happen to allow people to speak that are more in favor than are against or vice versa, and the right person says, hey, you rigged the meeting, that we don't need. Right. You don't control who gets up to watch something. Like well, that. I ultimately can. I don't, but I could. You can see you I can turn can, someone can, off. You can make yeah, them stop talking to you. You're done. Them. Get out. So that's but, not the way most committees I work. So we're that, being Joe. the great example. No, I understand that, but again, it's the 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 one person that is looking for a way to stick it to somebody could do that. So maybe again, I'll make the call tomorrow. But maybe what I'll do, if it makes sense, is resign from the committee, but I will show up and offer my opinions. You're always welcome. That way, you can you can pick my brain, and I'll say what I need to say as if I belong here. Mm -hmm. Would that apply to alternates? What do you mean? We don't have alternates. If you're not, if we don't have an alternate. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. No. But alternates is an interesting idea. Yeah. Because <laughs> it is hard to get a quorum sometimes. <laughs> the committees can't get enough people, let alone alternates. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, we well, don't. We don't allow the the law doesn't allow for alternates. It allows for a nine up to up to a nine person board, and there are uh, certain committees that need to that uh, that are in the statute that need to be represented. I was just wondering if that was a wrinkle. Mm -hmm. That wasn't considered. I think it's a town meeting bylaw. I'm not sure if it's a statute. I wonder. Uh, David Nixon did say he wanted to rewrite or update the CPA bylaw, and I might start working with him on that in January. Do you know what, um, uh -huh. in what in what area? Um, uh, other than the thing about the Long Range Planning Commission, I don't know exactly. Um, yeah, what? What authority does he have to dictate to you? He doesn't have authority to dictate to me, but Stuart thought it was a good idea. It's been a long time. And it's so it's a good idea, I think, to, I mean, if it's not broken, don't fix it, right? But right. also, to look at things after several, what, how, many, how many years have we been? Well, maybe a good idea to review it, to just review it. don't necessarily have to change it. Anyway, um, uh, I won't agree to any changes until the committee gets to the I just thought I'd go with sort of the representative of the committee and see what he has in mind. I'll let you know when the meeting happens if anybody else wants to come. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, or if you get get enough heads up and we can all get a get a look at the bylaw yeah. and, and yeah. we can all have well, a discussion before The bylaw is the state law. The town voted to adopt the CPA well, Act. Yeah. So, Town Hall can do whatever they want. It doesn't what mean does anything. the state law say? It'll recommend or not recommend, and what authority does it have? Right, I don't know. 
Okay. Well, I, if you if you read stuff in the newspaper about other towns like Amherst and Northampton, they will definitely they'll look at something, and if that committee does not like it, they shoot it down. Correct. Whether it's acceptable under the guise of the CPA or not. That's always been always done. We've never done that at any level. No, we but never uh, turned a lot anybody of, away. Right. Because we've always said, looks like the townspeople decide. Right. Well, so well, if the townspeople say yes, okay, they think it's a good thing. If they say no, well, yeah, okay, they think it's a bad thing. We, we've never voted anyone down, but we have to turn people away. Yeah, I mean, we've certainly we made a change at, there. At, at, we've had a couple at of town hall here yeah. where we said, this wasn't detailed enough, or this isn't good enough, or right. you know, this is not approved use. Don't make us vote on it. You know, I remember the TV guy came and wanted to build a TV station. We didn't vote no, <laughs> but we didn't let him present it either. Well, there's been a lot of so projects withdrawn based on the first yes first round. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, which I, which is good. I'd rather that happen than people get the no vote. Yeah. Because I think, we, again, if it gets through here and we all if, and it's got a favorable vote, it goes to town meeting floor and they're thinking, all right, CPA says it's great, no problems, let's vote for it. Rather than they don't like it, but they just gave it to us to let us vote for it. Well, I remember when the um, when the, uh, the vote for the courthouse came up and somebody said. Why are we doing giving money to another town? You know, yeah, and, I, and I thought, should I stand up and say something? This is the actual CPA law. So um, it's from five to nine members. And so no, there's no and, argument. And some of them. There's no argument one, about two, that. One, two, three, four, five, and then you got four at large members. <coughs> so I don't know. I, I would. Except to say again, you know, if you have qualms about a proposal, speak up. Sit, speak up. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. CPA doesn't take up enough time in town meeting as it is. <laughs> um, let's see. Was there something else? Anything else? Anyone want to get home in time and watch the Red Sox? The the withdrawal. Was there any reason given for the withdrawal of the windows on the? Senior housing project uh, at Golden Court? There was not a reason, um, but uh, not a reason given in the email, but I suspect there is a reason. But I wouldn't want to speculate. Do you feel like they're going to, did they say they're going to resubmit for the next meeting? Well, it's going to be a new authority of governance. Right. Oh, was that's that true. the reason, it, or was the fact that? Somebody oh. gave an extremely high, uh, because that was a fair question just, that Andy put up. The uh, we want three bids. Well, and a little bit more detail behind the quote. Exactly. And right. also that uh, they'd be going in. You know, since an October vote, and by the time they actually got the, you know, approval, um, would they be tearing off the fronts of these buildings um, in the middle going of January, in November, mm -hmm. and December? Right. Probably not. Right. I don't know exactly why it was withdrawn, but I encourage them to apply again and to come to us for help. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so the library. The library was also withdrawn. Mm -hmm. I spoke to Stewart about why he recommended against approval. Mm -hmm. And Stewart said that the issue was the land, that the land is just municipally, municipally owned land and can be sold or built on or whatever the town decides to do in the future. And that's why CPA money can't be used on it. Because you don't want to spend CPA money for a capital improvement and then sell or destroy the asset. So he suggested if we want to help help the library that uh, we put the land around the library into Chapter 97 protection. And then you can use CPA money to improve it, to Wait a minute, what, I, I, I'm totally confused. Because the town owns the land, right. but we just granted money to the fixed town pillars, and we own that land, and we get to fix the Hadley fields, and we own that land, 
and we fit, and we did stuff in elementary school, and we owned that land. That wasn't the reason, Andy. Though they gave, they said it was part of the building project. Yeah, it was new it's construction. It's because of new well, construction. That's correct. Right, right. That's not the land was not the integral part for denying the, uh, well, the this request. Is, this is what Stewart told me when I spoke to him. Okay, well, the the email. Well, all our projects we own the land correct. on most of our projects, I'd say. Right, but but if the if the land if the if the if the use of the land for which the CPA funds are being spent is protected, either by some kind of loan in town or Chapter 97 protections or something like that, then CPA funds can be used. I, I have the email here. Yeah. yeah. Um, the part um, regarding the library and the landscaping, so he yeah. talks a bit about the roof. It says, similarly, similarly, CPA funds are not for landscaping on a new building. I think we have a DOR letter on this, as it has come up in Falmouth on construction of a new skating rink. We can't speak to what other communities have done with their CPA funds, and, quote, precedence is not one of the justifications for using CPA funds. Correct. It has to be a verb on the CPA allowable uses chart, as you know. The CPA project database very clearly says that projects in other communities should not be used to justify a project in their community. Right. Okay. Just because they did it in, in over there doesn't mean that it's okay to do it here. Right. Okay. But that's another issue about <laughs> whether the library is willing to put these sort of protections on their grounds so they can use CPA money to improve them. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we kind of got in trouble because that, you know, the, the, because of the sidewalk the from the old library. Because they, um, they, there was 25 feet or 22 feet of entranceway up to the library that they had to take apart when they were fixed the stairs, and they wanted CPA money to replace it, and it seemed like a good thing, and they submitted a bill. And it cost like fifteen hundred dollars, and I kind of got my hand slapped because the steward said you're not supposed to do that, you know, dummy. What's the matter with you? And but it turned out that that sidewalk did belong to the library. It doesn't belong to the town. Well, it does belong to the town. It, it's not part of the sidewalk that people walk on. It's the entrance way to the building. So that's what we kind of. And it, it was. It was, I think it was $1,500. Don't quote me on that. I don't remember. Well, this would be a little bit more than $1,500. Right, yeah, but I know. I expect that next cycle the library will be back. Probably. But I have to talk mm -hmm. to them talk to them first to see if they want to do it. Yeah. Um, and because it's the whole process to get these kind of protections. And then it, in some ways, it's bad for the library. It means you have you can't expand the library. You can't use the land for anything else. You can't put anything on there or build anything on there. One project that's been stalled because of a uh, adverse possession rule of who owns the land is the ball fields, Hopkins Academy, or the school ball fields, recreation department. Uh, if they're pushing up onto the two-year time limit. Perhaps you should have someone, I think Eric Sudnick is the person that's kind of the point for the school, request the extension. For those people not familiar, Hannigan says because he's been mowing that long, he thinks he owns it. I didn't think and he could Randy ever is, first possess a municipality. Well, but nobody has Randy, proof of where Randy the boundary has, is. Randy knows I something this was about it. Why, why haven't they taken it by uh, eminent domain? I don't understand that question. question. I don't know. I thought they resolved it. My so understanding, now. I thought it was resolved as well. And my, the, it's supposed to be started in June. This June. In June, well, this June. Well, this, this in, in, in June they're going to start the project. OK, I haven't heard it was resolved. Well, well I heard that he's. It sounded like it was resolved. I spoke with um, Eric because, okay. um, and he said he was gonna, the project was gonna start in June, and 
They can't do it dur during the school year because the kids are using the fields, right. right? And he's trying to figure it out a way. So if he starts it in June, then he has to have the kids off the fields for a whole year. So he's going to have to send them out to different places. So it, a lot of it doesn't have just to do with that. That was a hiccup that delayed it, but a lot of it has to do with him trying to schedule the fields. Well, the good news, teams. I didn't know that. So the good news that the adverse possession conflict has been resolved. So yeah. now they just have to figure out the logistics of moving teams around. Right? Yeah. This is special town meeting 2017. So they're not up to the two year limit. Now, yeah, so. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but close. They're getting there. They're getting there, yeah. We should, uh, so well, should, yeah. somebody should 17, 18, 18, and 19, and it'll be two years now. Okay, so, so we should ask, uh, advise them to ask for an extension. Now, I'm, and there was one um, small well, 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 piece on here with the tap, with that, with the, with money coming back. And I asked about that. What was it? Was, um, was that for the plan? The pl I think it was the plan, right? The thirty-five thousand. Yeah. Wasn't it the plan? No, I can't remember. Because we have some money left. Special town meeting, two thousand sixteen, Hopkins Academy. Yeah, and then the balance. Well, did we start and implementing I, that? Uh, we got to use it by this date. I thought that was. No. That's the first one. Where's all the That's the. Uh, that's the. Uh, Annual time meeting 19. 19. This is special time meeting in the fall, right there. No, nope, that's not. So that's the 400,000 that was approved. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's FYP, you know, mm -hmm. 400. Where's the other playing fields? 15, there it is. Hopkins playing field. That was done in special. 16. Yeah. Special, 2016. 15,000 we, we voted to approve. They used ten, and they got yeah. They got forty nine thirty left. I asked for that money back, mm -hmm. but they asked if well, David Nixon asked that we keep it out there, and he didn't want to put it on the warrant because the project's not done yet in case they need it again, and for to continue with their plan. Well, if it's going to be used for that whatever for the, the town voted on. So it's 2016, and I don't know, in 2016 we didn't put the two-year mark, right? I don't think so. Think so like, so that I can don't stay? Know. Yeah. I, I, so. Yeah, I think that's legitimate. Leave it. For it to stay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was, when we started implementing the two-year limit, was that means people have two years to use money. Right. Yeah. Before that, we never put a limit on it because we, 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 didn't know we trusted better. people. We figured yeah. if projects were going to happen, and they'd be done. Yeah. And they weren't. Why did we that's, do that? that's good news that it's going along because there's a lot of organizations that are ready to contribute their share. And this is one of the few programs mm -hmm. that has legitimately gone out and worked to raise money. Oh, yeah. That, my understanding is they have uh, all raised all the money for phase one. Yep. And they're ready to go with phase one. And now they need to start, they're, looking, they're looking to start raising money for phase two. Well, let's finish. Right, right, right. So, yeah, that's but, because, well, I know. But that's, at least they... Right. I, yep. I do not think they'll be coming before us for phase two because that stuff is not CPA allowable. You know, hot dog stands. And bleachers. Well, bleachers are okay if they're movable, right. but dugouts are not okay. Phase two is the more ball fields. Yeah. It's not, yeah. not bleachers. It's not, well, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. Wait and see. Yeah. We'll just have to see where it comes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If it comes. Mm -hmm. um, anything else? No. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, then. Um, Mr. Moderator, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. Let's say we're adjourned. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.